So right now, I'm taking you down Hollywood Boulevard. This is going to be just like last year. Except the fucking Lakers have another championship ring. Pau Gasol. He fucking choked in Game 7. So did Kobe. Thank God for those fucking refs, huh? Kobe Bryant. I don't know how we won Game 7. 37 fouls to 17. I really sound like a whiny bitch right now, don't I? Well, you know what? It was a game seven. Why don't you let the players win the game as, exposed, as opposed to the, the refs dictating the tone? So anyways, this is Hollywood Boulevard. Well, that's another thing out here the, the West Coast is everybody has to just stop when, a, when, a, when an emergency vehicle goes by, you know? He doesn't even have a sense of urgency. He's doing like 20 miles an hour. So anyways, I'm going to be at the Newport Yachting Center. Is that what it's called? Yachting Center. It's a, uh, it's a tent down in Rhode Island with about 95% humidity. So it's one of the few gigs you actually walk on stage with flop sweat. <laughs> it's like, it's like you, your body's sensing that you're going to bomb. But it's actually, it's a great gig. Um, so hopefully the humidity won't be that bad. All right, there's no fucking way I'm going the rest of the way here. Look at this traffic. This is what kills me about the level of traffic out here. It's, it's like, is everybody a comedian? out here doing some sort of uh it's not a podcast what is this a video podcast is it a yeah. vodcast is that what they call it sure. all those people with the mustaches the hipsters there's not shit going on here i really picked the wrong road usually what i do is i drive down the street at like 30 miles an hour and i can make fun of shit i wasn't anticipating stop and go traffic i don't have stop and go traffic like comedy chops just one person after another you just want to punch in the face I think it's the heat that makes you want to do it. Back east, you want to slap them because you want to hear that wet sound of humidity. Out here, it's a dry heat, so you, you want to go more close-fisted. I'm going to be at the, uh, the Newport Yachting Center in Newport, Rhode Island, and the Hampton Beach Casino. See? I'm going the complete opposite spectrum of white people. From the rich ones who have the yachts and fucked you over on the mortgage, all the way down to the people who bought the houses with $25 in the bank. And I'm the middle ground. I'm the guy who got left paying the fucking tab every fucking quarter of the year. This fucking piece of shit bank. I see one more asshole on TV talking about people collecting unemployment that they actually paid into. And they don't go off on these bankers who stole a trillion dollars. It's just beyond me. You know, it's almost like they're running shit. I'm actually trying to learn Spanish out here. I got the Rosetta Stone. Not because I want to be multicultural. I just want to find out if these Mexicans are talking about me and my ghost white legs as I go on a hike. By the way, I still am driving the hybrid. I really want to get a uh, the Dodge Challenger. But where the fuck would I drive? Look at this. This is what I would do. I'd go 80 miles an hour right up to this guy's back bumper and blow like nine, 90 gallons of gas. Um, here's some future child stars coming up the street. They're big hoary glasses like they're already famous. Well, actually, the, the, the palm trees, they, they have, a, like, the trunks are really weird. Like, you ever see old people and they got that fluid in the bottom of their legs? That's what the trunks pan up to that. Look at that. You go up. See that? Now bring it back down again. You got, like, that elephant, elephant titus of the calves. Cankles. There you go. That really is a deal breaker with a woman, isn't it? It's bad enough that they jack their ass, like, 12 feet up higher than it usually is. But when they're... they're Below the knee looks like a thigh. That just really kills it for me. See, there's the car I want right there. I don't want it in that color. I want it in the black. See? That's what I want. This is where I'm at, which is why I'm doing the video. So if you fuckers would actually come out to my show, I could get a little bit closer to that. I used to love the rebel flag when I was growing up before. You know, I didn't really get the whole Civil War thing. Uh... <laughs> did, did I did I dumb that down enough for you? I didn't get the whole the whole <laughs> civil war thing, that whole civil war we had in this country. No, I didn't understand why. Because uh, I was, you know, I listened to a lot of Southern rock. I just thought it was a badass looking flag. You know, and I really shouldn't say this because this is going to encourage all the dumb racists on the internet. Like that's right, it's just a flag. It don't mean nothing. All I know is you lost the war. I'm sick of you guys acting. The South is going to rise again and do what? Secede from the Union?
Here's a nice tree-lined street here. You can tell it's the summer because the, <laughs> the leaves are all brown. Because technically these trees shouldn't be here. This is a fucking desert. I think they just planted them here. Oh, the white man. I'm sure this fucked up the ecological system out here. The ecosystem. Is that what it is? And you know, I saw a thing the other day where there was a guy who had, he had 21 children who then spawned 93 grandchildren. You know? I think right after they talk about the, that oil spill, they should talk about that guy, like what he did. He was like his own, like coming out of his dick was as bad as what was coming out of that hole in the gulf. You know, he, he in his lifetime, he created, what was that, 21 and 90, 114 fucking people. We're all going to get their little mini SUVs and drive around with their fucking blinkers on. Let me ask you guys a question. Are you guys really going to go out and buy those stupid 3D TVs? And you're going to sit three abreast on your couch? Like how chicks used to ride around in cars because they all wanted to be able to hear so they could talk. Remember that shit? Remember guys, the guys sitting in the back and you wouldn't know what the fuck you were saying? You're going to have to sit three abreast with douchey glasses like what I have on. And watch what? The Spurs game? Do you really want to see Tim Duncan's nuts hanging in your face? It's not enough for you? With HD TV, you can actually see the cartilage inside of their nose. Dude, you know what TVs are right now? They're like, they're like razor blades. You remember that? No, remember, remember razor blades? What's up with that, people? No, how they went from, from one blade to two made sense. But everything beyond that has been bullshit. The three sucks. You can't get that whisker here. Right? You got to do this shit like you're on the Three Stooges. Mustang, another fucking car. What was that? That's a 65 or a 66, judging from those taillights. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why don't I just go? I take one of those. An old police car like in the Blues Brothers. The record collector. That's where I go. That's why I buy all my old vinyl. You know, the Ted Heath Orchestra. Persuasive Percussion, 1966. The Gems. Sing along with Mitch Miller and the gang. Mickey Finn. Huh? <laughs> Some Louis Armstrong. I like that shit. I like the old stuff. You know, how many times can I listen to Led Zeppelin? Evidently until I die. I, I just got to take breaks. Led Zeppelin's like that chick you can't get out of your life. You just got to keep going back, banging her every once in a while. Look at that right there. That's that's uh, that's a Pontiac Firebird. Pontiacs, which don't even do, in the back. That's a '69 Mercury Cougar. Dude, they had a uh, look at these guys. See, and they 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 fuck with old cars. There's the uh, I don't know what year that is. That's that Lincoln that Kennedy got shot in. You know, brain matter still on the back seat. Do you know they just washed out that car and, and Lyndon Johnson used it like a week later. That's where I bet, what's his face, Mel Gibson was taking that gold digging whore who fucking had the audacity to tape his phone calls. You believe that shit? Huh? Sounds like somebody's not paying, paying the bills anymore. That's the thing about that story that I can't fucking believe. Everybody's talking, can you believe Mel Gibson said some racist shit? Yes, I can. Didn't he already do that? It's like Meatballs Part 2. It's a fucking waste of time. All right, the real story is that fucking gold digging whore is trying to present herself as a victim. You know, you knew what the fuck he was. You're, you're going to try to act like that, like that guy every time he stubbed his toe walking around the apartment, he wasn't going, fucking Jews. But as long as he was buying her groceries, you know, and the latest hoary pumps, she didn't give a, she even had a fucking kid with that guy. She had a half a demon kid with them. As long as he paid for the groceries, she didn't give a shit. But now, all of a sudden, the money's cut off. And now, all of a sudden, she, she, she starts taping phone calls. And how doctored are those phone calls? I'm not saying Mel didn't say the shit he said. But her, he, he sounds like, you know, he's in a basement in Vietnam. And she sounds like she's in a recording studio. And she has no emotion. He's like, I can see your pussy hanging out of your fucking dress. And she's just like... Like crystal clear. Mel, why would you say that? Almost like she's a bad actress reading off of a cue card. Mel's getting set up. Look, if you can't be racist on the phone, where can you be racist, people? Be honest with yourselves, okay? I'm not even saying you believe in that shit, but if, 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 
All your phone calls were listened to over the last year. Would you have a job on Monday if those things were fucking released? You wouldn't. If you had some gold-digging whore. <laughs> That's what she is, too. And all you fucking broads out there, you got no right getting offended by that, okay? Because if you fucking had seven kids, okay, you gave a man seven kids, and in your 50s, right as the hot flashes were hitting, okay, and you start throwing jello around the fucking kitchen, and he took off for that younger girl, and your friends asked you, who did your husband leave you for? You would say, some gold digging whore. Because she's still a good looking woman. You're going to tell me that's her soulmate? Huh? Him and his gray pubes crawling on top, whispering in his ear as he bangs her that the Holocaust never happened? That's, <laughs> that's your fucking dream boat? You're full of shit, lady. You're full of shit. Are you still going to see a Mel Gibson movie? I got to be honest with you. I can separate the races from the mo from the movie maker. Apocalypto is the shit. <laughs> I don't condone his thoughts on Jewish people, but God damn it, that, that racist son of a bitch can make a movie. I span the globe. Ernest Borgnine, Mickey Fenn, Q-Tip. I've been looking at this bad boy right here. Not that, right there. That's a 1957, I believe. Cadillac. That's not the Eldorado. Look at that fucking grill. The bullets on the front. Do you know what would happen to my fucking toaster of a car if that thing ever T-boned me? You know, it's funny. I came to look at this thing. This guy was trying to tell me that. You know, all these guys are looking at it. Fucking two months later, it's still here. Look at the style, man. Look at that. All that chrome on the back. And, uh, yeah, and those tail fins. Those were actually inspired. These guys came back from World War II, I believe, from the P-38 fighter. And I think with all, a lot of the cars, the American cars, I noticed at 57 was the last year where they had the single headlights. Then they went to the double headlights after that. And then the Cadillac just got ridiculous. The 59, I know a lot of people like it, but it, it's, it's fucking you know, It's ridiculous. But that car right there, I know it looks like a hunk of shit. But uh, if you fix that car up, man, God damn it, I want something like that so bad. I really do. So I'm, take, I'm taking the secret sideway. This is, um, this is Laurel Canyon. Uh, is that the name? Oh, that's hilarious. I totally fell for that. Um, Laurel Canyon. You know what? Your canyon works. You gotta change, you gotta change it to something else. The name of a car. Plus some some sort of gaping thing in nature. Honey drive. Uh, Lexus sinkhole. <laughs> <That way. laughs> She'd be one of those chicks who takes like twelve dicks in the vagina. You know, that fucking thing that somehow that's not a gay act because there's a vagina in there, even though all the dicks look like salmon swimming upstream. <laughs> How do you block that out? That's an unbelievable level of focus, so you just, you know, that really should be a mock documentary. Tonight on Masterpiece Theater, we are going to discuss the 40-year porno career of Lexus Sinkhole. I first fucked on film in 1922. I'm going to be at the Hampton Casino, and I'm also going to be at the uh, Newport Yachting Center. So uh, whether you smoke crystal meth or you own a boat, I get a gig for you coming up this week. Definitely check them out. And w please watch my special, all kidding aside, especially if you're any of the people that I made fun of as I was driving down the goddamn street. Please go see my, uh, my special. Oh, look at that. This is perfect. We can end it. You can pan around. Just wait for it. With the Hollywood sign. There's not shit going on here. I really picked the wrong road. Usually what I do is I drive down the street at like 30 miles an hour and I can make fun of shit. I wasn't anticipating stop and go traffic. I don't have stop and go traffic like comedy chops. Just one person after another you just want to punch in the face. 
I think it's the heat that makes you want to do it. Back east, you want to slap them because you want to hear that wet sound of humidity out here. It's actually, it's a great gig. Um, so hopefully the humidity won't be that bad. All right, there's no fucking way I'm going the rest of the way here. Look at this traffic. This is what kills me about the level of traffic out here. It's, it's like, is everybody a comedian out here doing some sort of, uh, it's not a podcast. What is this, a video podcast? Is it a yeah. vodcast? Is that what they call it? Sure. All those people with the mustaches, the hipsters. Seven, 37 fouls to 17. I really sound like a whiny bitch right now, don't I? Well, you know what? It was a game seven. Why don't you let the players win the game as, exposed, as opposed to the, the refs dictating the tone? So anyways, this is Hollywood Boulevard. Well, that's another thing out here on the, the West Coast is everybody has to just stop when, a, when, a, when an emergency vehicle goes by, you know? So right now, I'm taking you down Hollywood Boulevard. This is going to be just like last year. Except the fucking Lakers have another championship ring. Pau Gasol. He fucking choked in Game 7. So did Kobe. Thank God for those fucking refs, huh? Kobe Bryant. I don't know how we won Game 7. He doesn't even have a sense of urgency. He's doing like 20 miles an hour. So anyways, I'm going to be at the Newport Yachting Center. Is that what it's called? Yes. Yachting Center. It's a, uh, it's a tent down in Rhode Island with about 95% humidity. So it's one of the few gigs you actually walk on stage with flop sweat. <laughs> it's like, it's like you, your body's sensing that you're going to bomb. But it's